welcome back to another story of the worst days in history here at Bad Day HQ. My name is Shelby, and today we are bringing you the deadliest hurricanes in history. As a foreword, this will just be focusing on hurricanes, not cyclones or typhoons. But don't worry, they'll be featured in the future. We also go by minimum casualties for our rankings. So while a 1930 Dominican Republic hurricane could have potentially killed up to 8,000 people, only 2,000 deaths were fully accounted for, so it did not make this top 10. Number 10, Monterey Hurricane. This Category 3 storm in late August of 1909 slowly made its way through Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Jamaica without much event. But as it moved through Haiti and Cuba, it picked up wind speed and destroyed many homes. Then it hit Mexico, where the devastation was the worst. The hurricane created storm surges that flooded the coastline, bursting the dam in Nuevo León. The flows were moving quick enough that most homes were ripped off their foundations and swept downstream, killing any caught in the river of debris. While there were a number of survivors, they were homeless and suffering from food shortages from the destroyed railway. Mexico officially reported 4,000 casualties from this storm. Number 9. Newfoundland Hurricane Also known as the Independence Hurricane, this storm, or possibly two storms, hit such a broad area that it actually impacted the 13 colonies of America and the Newfoundland colony in Canada. During September of 1775, right amidst the Revolutionary War, this storm actually benefited the Americans. Even though they lost 168 people, their opponents lost much more. 4,000 sailors from England and Ireland were killed due to the almost 9-meter or 30-foot-tall swells that sank ships, including the armed schooners from the Royal Navy. This storm is still the deadliest natural disaster in Canadian history. Number 8. The St. Lucia Hurricane of 1780 The St. Lucia Hurricane, also known as the San Antonio Hurricane, often gets overlooked. This is both because a deadlier hurricane hit the same general area just a few months later, but also because it was amidst the worst hurricane season in recorded history. Eight hurricanes struck, and half of them had death tolls over a thousand. Puerto Rico and St. Lucia lost between four to 5,000 people when it hit on June 13th. Number seven, Hurricane Okeechobee. On September 6, 1928, a tropical storm developed in Africa that would quickly become one of the strongest hurricanes on this list. In just a few days, it made its way across the Atlantic Ocean, hitting the islands of the Caribbean. September 12th, the island of Guadalupe was destroyed, causing 1,200 casualties. And that was only the beginning. Six hours later, it strengthened and became the only Category 5 hurricane to make landfall in Puerto Rico, destroying 500,000 homes. Okeechobee moved north to Florida shortly after and flooded areas in 20 feet or over 6 meters of water, drowning thousands. It finally came to a close in North Carolina, but not before taking the lives of at least 4,112 people. Number 6. Puente Pita Bay Hurricane the hurricane at number six sent sustained winds at 74 miles per hour or 119 kilometers per hour through the Caribbean Sea from September 5th to September 12th, 1776. This destroyed 60% of a large convoy of French and Dutch merchant ships by slamming them into rocks and by sinking them with rough water conditions. In total, about 6,000 people perished between Guadalupe, Martinique, Antigua, and on those merchant ships. Number 5. Hurricane Flora Due to a disturbance in the area of the Atlantic called the Intertropical Convergence Zone, more commonly known as the Calms, a small storm formed on September 26, 1963. It stayed small until the 29th, when it began quickly picking up speed until its sustained wind speed reached 145 miles per hour or 233 kilometers per hour. The Weather Bureau issued warnings, but the head of the Haitian Red Cross prohibited the broadcasts, claiming he didn't want to incite panic. Because of this, Haiti was hit hard. Over 7,000 people were killed in total, and about 5,000 of them were Haitians. The debris-filled wind, flooding, and mudslides destroyed the island. People were actually burned by the winds. Everywhere that Flora made landfall throughout the Caribbean experienced extreme famine and agricultural loss afterwards. Number 4. The Galveston Hurricane 
If you've watched a lot of Bad Day HQ Top 10s, you may have been wondering what the deadliest natural disaster in United States history was. Let me introduce you to the Great Storm of 1900. Official reports put the death toll between 8,000 and 12,000, and lasted so long it made its way from the Caribbean all the way up to Canada, causing the 2021 equivalent of $1.1 billion in damages. The incident was worsened because what is now the National Weather Service believed the storm would turn and hit Florida, ignoring data from the Cuban hurricane experts, so Texas didn't evacuate. On September 8, 1900, it made landfall in Galveston, Texas, bringing 140 mile per hour or 220 km per hour winds. Almost every building was destroyed in the Galveston area, even those designed to be hurricane-proof, as water rose four feet in just four seconds, and then another five feet flooded in in the next few hours. According to rescuers, the decomposing bodies could be smelled from miles away. Number three, Hurricane Fifi Orlean. This hurricane is especially interesting, not only because it was so catastrophic for being a relatively tame Category 2, but also it is one of only three hurricanes to cross over Central America, moving from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific. Even though officials in Honduras issued a warning, many locals refused to evacuate. On the 18th of September, 1974, it hit, bringing 132 mile per hour or 212 kilometer per hour winds, as well as 10 feet or three meter swells, and it created mudslides that caved in mountains. One mudslide took out a dam on the 20th in the dark of night, and the entire sleeping town below was decimated. Mudslides were responsible for the majority of over 8,000 casualties, and up to an estimated 500,000 were left homeless. Bodies blanketed the ocean as rescue helicopters tried to save as many as they could. Locals were desperate for food and shelter, and overcrowded the helicopters. Many fought each other with machetes for the limited food supplies. But it wasn't enough, as even the rescued starved to death before supplies could reach them. The loss of life and damage was so severe that the name Fifi was permanently retired. Number 2. Hurricane Mitch Honduras also took the brunt of the damage for our number 2 storm, Hurricane Mitch, in late October of 1998. At Category 5, it is one of the strongest storms on this list, and the strongest ever in October, which is quite late in the season. The winds reached a staggering 180 miles per hour or 286 kilometers per hour at its peak. Honduras was more prepared as far as evacuations, but this hurricane brought more flooding and landslides than imaginable. The river Ulua rose by 12.5 meters or 41 feet. 50,000 cattle and 60% of the fowl were killed, and 1.5 million people were left homeless. The survivors across the Caribbean still had to fight to live, as cholera, leptospirosis, and dengue fever infected over 4,000 of them. The countries nearby sent aid immediately, with the exception of the USA who withdrew their troops and only gave assistance after a massive public backlash. All in all, the hurricane took 11,374 lives, but an additional 11,000 people were declared missing and were never found. This makes Hurricane Mitch the deadliest hurricane in Central American history. Number 1. The Great Hurricane of 1780 Unfortunately, the Atlantic Hurricane Database only goes back to 1851, so statistics on this hurricane, which struck mid-October of 1780, are not well known. Evidence from the fact that every single tree on Barbados was stripped of bark and almost no island vegetation remained points to this storm creating winds over 200 miles per hour or 300 kilometers per hour as it passed over the island. The event was so strong that it triggered an earthquake and the noise was deafening. 4,500 Barbadians died in just a few hours. As the hurricane continued, 19 ships were wrecked off Grenada, 50 were lost in Bermuda, Martinique suffered from 25 feet or 7.6 meter storm surges, which killed 9,000 people almost instantly. In St. Lucia, waves threw ships into buildings, destroying all but two houses and killing 6,000. This storm also took place amidst the American Revolutionary War, and over a dozen Royal Navy ships were lost. 9,000 of the French troops and civilians died as well. Finally, after 11 days of devastation that impacted dozens of islands and killed a minimum of 22,000 people, it stopped. Unfortunately, as stated in our number 8 hurricane, 
This was the worst hurricane season in history, and three more storms occurred shortly after. We hope you enjoy these stories of the true power of nature, and we'd love to hear if you've experienced a hurricane before. Liking and subscribing helps us bring you more stories of bad days in recorded history, and we hope they help you appreciate your good days. Join us next time on Bad Day HQ.